All right, I want to take a few minutes to talk about designing and applying your very own custom chart templates in Excel. So let's say you've taken some time to apply a very specific set of formatting rules to a chart, and you've created a style that you really, really like and that you want to be able to apply to other charts, not just in your worksheet or workbook, but in other files as well. So maybe it looks like something like this, where you've got this great background fill, you've got gradients, data labels, etc. From here, you can simply right click that chart and choose Save as Template. And once you've done that, by selecting another chart in your workbook, like this one, you can right click, open up the Change Chart Type dialog box, and you'll see that Templates option right there at the top of the list containing the template that you've defined. So it's a very straightforward process here. Essentially what we're doing is using templates, much like we would use the Format Painter to grab formatting from one cell and apply it to another. In this case, we're just working with charts or visuals. So the common use cases here, uh, again, saving those specific formats or styles that you really like for future use, either in the current workbook or in others, and also ensuring consistent formatting across all of the visuals in a report so that you're not manually trying to replicate format settings each time. So with that, let's go into our pro tip workbook and practice designing and saving our own custom chart template. All right, so in our pro tip workbook, look for the visualization tips, and we're gonna be drilling into the custom templates demo here. You can link straight out to that yellow tab. And here we're looking at 2017 North America sales by month for a very strange company that only sells three products, hot dogs, snow shovels, and tube socks. And what we've done is insert three charts here above to basically show those seasonal patterns for monthly sales of each product. And the idea is that, you know, we want to spruce these up a little bit. I don't love the default format here for these column charts. Let's go ahead and try to format or customize this first chart, save that style that we've created as a template, and then apply it with the click of a button to charts two and three. So keep in mind, you don't have to follow along with anything that I'm doing. Um, what I'm going to do is quickly run through a bunch of different formatting options just to give this chart a very different kind of look and feel. You can go rogue and create whatever options or settings you choose, or you can try to follow along with me exactly. It's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do to start is just right click the chart area and format that area to give it a nice solid background fill. And I'm going to give it kind of a dark charcoal gray right there. I'd like to update these grid lines as well. So I'm going to select just the grid lines and give them a white fill or a white line with almost full transparency here just to make them kind of subtle. Like an 80% looks good. If my data bars or my columns themselves, definitely want to change the color here. So let's go ahead and give it a gradient fill. Um, you may see a different default set of gradients. In this case, I'm using this kind of bright aqua blue color that I kind of like. So the color looks good. Let's jump into our series options here. And by reducing the gap width, I can essentially bring these columns a little bit closer together. Um, something like 75. I think that looks nice. And then last but not least, this dark gray for X, Y, and title is a little bit tough to read. So let's select those X labels, make them white. I'm going to convert to bold and drop down to size 8. That looks good. Our Y axis, again, bold, white font. Let's make it italic and quite a bit smaller, maybe a size six there. And same story with our title, kind of tough to read there. So let's go ahead and highlight the title, make it white and bold. Size 12 looks fine. And then the final update that I'm going to make here is just add some data labels to that series. So I want to show you how those can get applied as well. A little bit tough to read, but there they are. Let's make those white, italic, and very, very small, maybe like a size 5, um, just so that they're there if you need them. And that looks good. So I've defined the chart template, the style that I want. And now the idea is to save this as a template so we can pop it into these two charts very, very quickly. So right-click, Save as Template. It should automatically navigate to this roaming Microsoft templates folder or something similar 
I'm just going to give it a name like awesome chart, for instance, it's saving it as a chart template file type specifically and press save. And from here, all we have to do is grab one of our other charts, either go into chart tools and click change chart type, or we can right click and access that same dialog box from here. And we're going to go up to templates, awesome chart here and press OK. Now, everything applied except for some reason the chart title didn't apply. Um, this has happened in the past. I think it may just be buggy behavior. Um, if that's the case, we can go ahead and head to our home menu, make it white, bold, and 12, and that should just about do it. So let's apply that same process to our third chart, change chart type, templates, awesome chart, and then again we have to customize that header or that title for some weird reason, not sure why. So there you go, great way to design and apply your own custom chart templates in Excel.